Hello, I'm Brian Ades, and welcome to Primetime. This is a City Watch series about getting older. In each episode, we're going to introduce you to the experts who deal with the issues that boomers and the generation before them face every day. I believe that to make good decisions, you need good information. And that's what this series will attempt to provide. In this segment, we have with us Ellie Page, a licensed fiduciary in California and vice president of the Southern Region of PFAC, the Professional Fiduciary Association of California. Fiduciary seems to be the, the primary word that's coming up over and over again that I'm reading about, I'm hearing, I hear people talk about a fiduciary. Is it a regulated body? When, what, can you tell me a little bit about what it means and, and what is a fiduciary? I'm glad you asked because not that many people know what a fiduciary is all about. We are commonly referred to as conservators, trustees, estate administrators, mm. power of attorney, guardians in real life. The public doesn't quite know what a fiduciary is. Um, not long ago, as of January 1st, 2008, we had formed a governing body up in Sacramento, which is called Professional Fiduciary Bureau, and we are part of the Department of Consumer Affairs. Mm. And that is the regulatory body which governs the licensing of the professional fiduciaries in California. In other words, that profession has been around forever, mm -hmm. but officially as professional fiduciaries, we are being licensed and are required to be licensed as of January 1st, 2008. Were there problems before? I think a lot of the, the misnomer about putting someone that you love in someone else's care that they would be subject or, or vulnerable to, to financial or physical abuse. Was that what prompted the, the professional fiduciary? Was there, was there some occurrence or statistic that... I believe so. I believe so. Um, fortunately, that was before my time, so mm -hmm. I don't really know details, but I think there was a big um, case that was very well publicized in uh, Los Angeles Times, mm -hmm. and it was one of our um, colleagues, unfortunately, um, who committed a serious financial elder abuse crime mm. towards her clients. And um, as I said, it was very well publicized, and that prompted to the creation of the Professional Fiduciary Bureau up in Sacramento. And now everything is regulated. The licensing process is quite difficult, mm. and I'm glad it is. And that's going to be nice because it weeds out the weak and the people who aren't serious about providing care because it's not a 9 to 5 job. People don't pass away between 9 and 5. You're, people don't get sick from 9 to 5. It's a 24-hour, 7-day-a-week commitment to somebody else. That is correct. My, my telephone is on 24-7, and you're absolutely right. Uh, it takes quite a bit of a commitment, and not everybody or anybody could do that. It takes a lot out of you. I, I just had a case last year. Um, unfortunately, my 2010 didn't start off that well. January 1st, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, I got a phone call from a care facility where I had one of my clients. Mm. She had passed away. Mm. You don't pick and choose the hour and the time yeah. when something serious like this happens. What age do you think people should be thinking about long-term care for, I guess, for themselves? It's a con such a confusing issue because there's so many different aspects to it. Um, is, is it retirement? Is it pre-retirement? Do you meet with your children? Um, at what point do you bring a fiduciary in? And, and I know there's a lot of questions in that, but there's, there's a lot of issues that just kind of right. I keep thinking about and, and I'm not sure where to begin. Well, we're, we're being brought into the picture at very, very different time slots. Mm. I mean, um, for example, I'm handling a client right now who's mentally challenged and she's only 42 years old. Mm. Obviously, there is a need for somebody to take care of her, even though she's so young, because um, she had certain issues. Um, then I have a few clients whom I call my 90s club. 
I have a lady who's 93 years old, I have a lady who's 95 years old, and I have a lady who's 98 years old. Mm. So um, we're being brought in at, at various times. It, it depends on the situation. It is a very good idea for the younger people, when I say younger, I'm shying away from the 90s club, obviously, right. but in their 50s and 60s, no later than that, to start doing their financial planning and their estate planning and name their successor trustees and their, mm. their succession line. That was Ellie Page. To get in touch with her, call 818-623-0099. Remember, the property you own or the property you would like to buy should be carefully considered as part of an overall plan for your future. I'm Brian Ades from Sotheby's International Real Estate, and I'm here to help.